there's a new Kickstarter out by the Australian Space Association. You mean ASA? ASA themselves have put out a pitch. They need funding. And I know you, like me, love space. You love the down under. So let's let's see what they have got to pitch. I'm pretty excited about this. I'm down. Let's do it. Go. <laughs> we got to plant the rocket at South Australia Woomera. And it's going to take off, go through the atmosphere, and enter outer space. Once it's there, the gravity of the moon will take over, and we'll land the craft on the moon and plant the Australian flag. That's what we're going to do. Uh, oh, is that that it? <laughs> that's is the, did I get the link wrong? Uh, no, that's that's ASA. I see it right there. Um, wow, and I thought NASA was underfunded. They're gonna put. A rock? No. They're going to get a spacecraft to the moon. It doesn't look like it's coming back from the way that video went. And the moon also has the word moon actually printed on it. I didn't realize. But still, their inflatable globe hanging from the ceiling fan does resemble how the real solar system works. I'm, I'm sort of surprised by this thing in general. I also don't think you need much illustration like that to say, Hey, I'd like to put something on the moon. Like, words work there. I don't know that the video helped Asa here, but... So they're trying to raise $18,642, which they then kind of contradict by saying, we are trying to raise $25,000 to start our own marketing campaign. You know why? Once started, we mm -hmm. will get the consumer to pay $30 a month. You know, I had one answer for you, but now I have two questions. Um, right? It's Australian dollars, which is why it's the disconnect. Um, the marketing campaign part is throwing me a little, because I thought it was a space program. But then there's consumers who are paying, like, a recurring fee? So they want to put a robot on the moon and plant the Australian flag on said moon. As I would expect ASA to do. And also, by the way, we will also visit the Apollo 11 landing site. While we're there. Alright, um... In the land up under. I don't understand. They're going to get the consumer to pay a minimum of 30 Australian dollars a month. And to raise enough money, we require at least 150,000 people to join us, right? Oh, so we're crowdfunding a marketing campaign to get to other... get the populace to, to get this 150,000 other people to show up and pledge $30 a month for the actual space travel. So I think I see. Okay, so they're like, that's too big a Kickstarter goal. So let's start with a smaller Kickstarter goal to kick off an even bigger goal that we'll use without Kickstarter to get it's people- It's like an interest check. Uh, which but... is uh, one person's interested so far. Once we raise the funds necessary, we'll team up with a local university to get them to help build the robot. Okay, I don't think it's help build the robot. I'm pretty sure Sydney University is going to head up just building the robot by the fucking selves. Uh, they're uh, just the consultants. <laughs> to make sure all the dots and odd uh, 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 eyes are dotted, T's are crossed. These are guys, I mean, Asa is having trouble clipping off part of the video where they had to tell one of them to, you know, say go. <laughs> so I, I don't know about that, but. Um, so what, what do we get in return for funding this marketing campaign? Okay. A hundred bucks. Starting big. A panoramic f photo of Earth taken from the moon. Uh, Estimated delivery 2019? <laughs> I think I mean, that's, that's ambitious. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean, that's really ambitious. <laughs> I think if Elon Musk told me he wanted to do that, I'd be like, no fucking way. And shouldn't it ship to anywhere in the galaxy? <laughs> I don't think it should, actually. I'm, oh, okay. I'm skeptical they can ship anywhere in the world, frankly. I guess I'm more ambitious than they are. So what if you go even higher? What if you go to a thousand Aussie dollars? Well, they will put your name on a flag and plant it on the moon. Only 25 <laughs> of you, though. 25 flags only. <laughs> well, you don't want to glitter on the moon. <laughs> um... Whoa, that next tier. Um, wait a minute here. So, okay. Where Wherever the robot <laughs> lands on the moon, we will name the place after you. So, wait, how, how does that work? 
So the moon? First of all, I love that their landing site is chosen the same way you'd throw a dart at a globe. Um, <laughs> wherever the robot we have landed lands. on the diabetes. It's, it sounds good. Huh? Don't we just fire the robot at the moon and let the chips fall where they may? Isn't that how space travel works? All right. So what are the risks and challenges of having a robot built and landed on the moon in less than three years? <laughs> I would have expected a little more than two seconds. The main no. challenge is building no. <laughs> no, that's not the main challenge here. The main, the primary challenge. <laughs> that's not the main challenge at all. Is building the robot itself, but it's... we believe it requires no new technologies. And thank God, because we would only have a year or two to develop new technologies <laughs> to meet our goal. <laughs> the second challenge is to get enough people to join. Don't you need the people to join first to build, to have the funds to build the robot? I love to. We believe it requires no new technologies. We're not entirely 100% sure if robots exist yet, but we think they might. They seem so hard to work in their laboratory in the video, though. I thought they'd done their homework. <laughs> well, I mean, ASA just started on astrophysics, you know. I mean, their, their their galaxy model didn't have any stars or asteroids or anything yet. You know, they're working on it. That's true. That's true. <laughs> oh, so um, those are the only risks and challenges with with going to the fucking yeah. Moon. Otherwise, it's going to be a smooth three years. <laughs> Twenty five thousand dollars. It will require no new monies. <laughs> I don't think. I would I would like them to explain too what the marketing campaign is. I mean, frankly, besides us making this video to and people yeah, funding it as a There's a bit of a, a disconnect, goop. right? Yeah. Because this Kickstarter is supposed to be about the marketing campaign only, but it's all about phase two. <laughs> right, yeah, they're skipping a step. You know, the giving up step, they're skipping that. I mean, that's got to be a very fast guerrilla marketing campaign. <laughs> <laughs> well, they'll get they'll get Sydney University to help market it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Can you help us build a robot? Like, no, we're just gonna build the robot. <laughs> or we're not even. Get get the hell out of my office. Please leave the university. 